equations telling us how to graph circles and ellipses are all over the ACT. In order to maximize your score, you need to be able to recognize and manipulate these equations. Let's start with the equation for circles. The general equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where x and y are variables, r is the radius, and the point hk is the center of the circle. So if we had the equation x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 4, then we know that we would have a circle with a radius of 2 with a center at the point 3, 2. Similarly, if you want to find the equation of a circle with a radius of 5 and a center at negative 1, 5, we could plug this info into our general circle equation. In this case, r equals 5 and hk equals negative 1, 5. So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared becomes x plus 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 25. One other thing you might be asked is to determine whether a particular point is on a given circle. Let me show you what I mean in a sample problem. A circle is drawn in the xy coordinate plane such that the center of the circle is the point 0, 7. If the radius of the circle is 2, then each of the following points lies on the circle's circumference except the following. Let's underline the facts and circle the keywords. All of the answer choices but one represent points on the circle. To figure out whether the point lies on a circle, we need the equation first. We'll use our circle equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Since the center of the circle is 0, 7, h is 0 and k is 7, and since our radius is 2, r is 2. Plug in our values and we get x squared plus y minus 7 squared is equal to 4. All the points on the circumference of the circle have to fit into the equation of our circle. Let's back solve to figure out if the points fit. If we plug in c, the point 0, 5, our equation becomes 0 squared plus 5 minus 7 squared, or negative 2 squared, which is equal to 4. That point works, so let's cross out c. Let's try d next, which is 1, 7. Our equation is 1 squared plus 7 minus 7 squared, or 1 squared. As 1 doesn't equal 4, that point isn't on our circle, so d is our answer. Now that we've gone over circles, let's move on to ellipses, which are sort of like flattened circles. If you've ever watched the Super Bowl, you've already spent many hours entranced by ellipses. So let's take a look at them from a math perspective. The general equation for an ellipse is x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Just like in a circle, the center of an ellipse is at hk. A is half the length of the horizontal axis, or the width, of the ellipse, and B is half the length of the vertical axis, or the height of the ellipse. Now that we know the geometry of a football more intimately, let's apply our newfound knowledge to an ACT problem. In the xy coordinate plane, which of the following is the equation of an ellipse with a center of 3, 4, and a horizontal axis length of 10? First, let's circle the keywords, underline the facts, and label the answer choices. The best way to solve this problem is to use process of elimination on our answer choices. Bring in our ellipse equation, x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Let's start by looking at the center of the ellipse as defined by the problem. h is equal to 3 and k is equal to 4. Based on this, we can eliminate all the answer choices except for c and d, which have numerators of x minus 3 squared and y minus 4 squared. Next, we need to look at our horizontal axis. In our ellipse equation, a stands for half the length of the horizontal axis. So if we have a horizontal axis length of 10, that means 2a equals 10, which means a equals 5, so a squared should be equal to 25. If we substitute 25 for a squared into our formula, we see that c is the only remaining answer choice with a squared equaling 25. We haven't looked at the length of the vertical axis of this ellipse, but that doesn't matter. Since the question doesn't give us any information about the vertical axis, it could be tall, short, or somewhere in between. c is the only answer choice that works. Next time you watch a football game, I hope you're not too distracted wondering what the ball would look like on the coordinate plane or thinking about the h and k values. 
As far as the ACT is concerned, make sure you're able to recognize the equations of circles and ellipses and identify the parts of those equations. Practice is your straight line to victory.